I grew up in a home where both parents smoked cigarettes. Um, they smoked cigarettes in the car, in the home. Sometimes cigarettes were, um, had to be bought over milk and bread and eggs. But when I got into beauty school in 2007, I was older and I wanted to fit in, so I started smoking cigarettes. Uh, I started smoking maybe 14 or 15. The first time I ever had a cigarette, I was 16 years old and I was at a party. I worked at a grocery store. Working there, I would see all my friends and friends' mothers and friends' fathers and everybody coming in and buying cigarettes. I was trans then, I just didn't know what to call it then. And I just knew that I didn't fit in with other people. And so smoking definitely gave me a way to like fit in with other people. I'm 29 now, so I've smoked for 14 years. I had lost a job and lost my home. And shortly after I found out um, I was pregnant, but those brief moments when I didn't know that I was pregnant, cigarettes were a priority. I wanted to feel better, and for some reason, that seven minutes smoking the cigarette relieved a lot of stress, and it um, gave me hope during that seven minutes that I was smoking the cigarette. And whether that's by yourself or it's like a bonding thing with people that you know or even people that you don't know, it's kind of like a weird way to bring people together and that's especially prevalent in the gay community. We have to remember that it is an addiction and it's an addiction like anything else and it's probably the worst thing to be addicted to. Whatever we can do as volunteers, as health advocates, as professionals, we want to do it. We want to help people quit. We have friends and family um, that use tobacco and, and you know it's all taking them where they're at and not judging them for what they do, but helping them to move forward the best they can. What drove me to quit smoking was I found out I was pregnant and I wanted my son to have a healthy start in this life. Um, so I quit smoking immediately. I guess I was just fed up, you know what I mean? Like when you take into account how much money you spend on cigarettes, um, how, it, how it impacts every single aspect of every single thing that you do in your day-to-day -day life. I mean, even things like eating, you know, or driving a car, you know, they're directly tied to cigarettes. And I just, I just didn't like not having any control. I was trying to get in shape to start my whole transition and to start like living life. And I couldn't do that when I was smoking. I didn't have the breath, I didn't have the energy, I didn't have the ability to like exercise and take care of myself properly. My life with tobacco was pretty carefree. It was rebellious, very expensive, very unhealthy. And my life without tobacco in the year and a half that I've been tobacco free has been a lot cheaper. It's uh, been a lot healthier. Um, I'm more conscious and strong-willed, mature. My journey has, it led me to homelessness. It led me to depression. My journeys led me to uh, uh, unplanned pregnancy. I'm happy, I'm healthy, I am, my taste buds are back, I can smell the flowers. It's great. If I was talking to someone who's in the same position, do whatever you need to do to quit tobacco. Whatever it takes, just quit. Do all the things that make you quit. Yeah, because life after is... It's worth it. It's absolutely worth it. Quitting gave me the ability to be happy.